The Colvin Recreation Center is the place to go on campus for fitness. However, the Department of Wellness has so much more to offer when it comes to your physical and mental health. I'll show you today on Inside OSU. When we exercise, when we work out, we actually get stress relief, we get anxiety relief, we get a positive mental affect that comes from it, we get social interaction with people. I think we as a society have just in recent years found the importance of taking care of our mental health. Research shows that there is a strong correlation between physical health and mental health, so when one increases, the other increases. When, when you look at uh, hormone release and things that happen during a workout, we get release of these, these hormones that make us feel good. These hormones that cause stress and anxiety go away and they're replaced by these, again, these positive affect hormones. And it really has been shown in research over and over and over again to be one of the greatest things that we can do to improve mental health. On the surface, the Colvin looks like your typical gym. At the core, its focus is total wellness. Every student, faculty, and staff has the opportunity to go to events, workshops, classes, presentations over mental health and different mental health topics like stress, mindfulness, um, how to better cope in your day-to-day -day life, um, and what mental health looks like in whether your college experience or in your life as a professional. How does offering mental health resources help lessen the stigma around it? I believe every single time we talk about it, it decreases the stigma. The more we can normalize it, I think, and take the fear away, people are going to be more open to accessing resources and looking for your resources. We have vision board workshops. We have lunch and learns over different mental health topics. For students, we have presentations where instructors can pull me and my team in to talk about different mental health topics. Like I said, stress, mindfulness, what mental health looks like in college. But then we also have some of those more socially interactive classes, Zumbas and dance parties, things that aren't really about fitness, it's about coming together, dancing, goofing off, having fun. Uh, and then we have things like F45 that is more of an interval-based approach about burning a whole lot of calories in the shortest amount of time possible, 45 minutes. And so whatever end of the spectrum you want from your group fitness, we, I try to make sure we have some offering for you. Beyond the workout class offerings, there is a variety of equipment for patrons to use. The layout is very intentional. Dr. Todd Christensen worked with focus groups to determine the best design for the space. What we heard was um, a lot of different people saying they didn't go downstairs to work out. They just stayed upstairs and did cardio stuff. Uh, and so one of the things we wanted to do was make sure we brought some resistance training upstairs. And so when we look at the far end of the main floor, we now have resistance training upstairs. And then when you look downstairs, we wanted to make sure, I wanted to make sure that we, we moved from less intimidating and simpler movement to more complex. This is traditionally where the main weight room has been. And again, we wanted this area is a little bit lower, it's a little bit more closed off, where we wanted this area over here, the machine area, the pin select area, to just be a little bit more open in the bright light of the daytime, less intimidating. So that's the thing that we put out in the dead center of the floor. A lot of people who go to the gym might be intimidated by this section, but let's say you're new and you want to try some of this stuff out. Is there a coach or an employee yeah. who can help to walk you through some of these movements? Yeah, so absolutely. We have, within fitness, we have fitness coaches, we have personal trainers. Several times through the year, we offer Weights 101 classes where we give people guided tours, a class to learn how to lift, lift in this space, lift in all the various spaces of the building so that they don't have to be so intimidated. You'll also find the climbing wall, spin studio, and basketball courts. So that's the beauty, as you can see behind us right now, there are people just in here shooting around. And so throughout many of our spaces, we have what's called open rec time. And so those are times that are open for recreation for anyone. And so there is no reservation. It's just first come, first served. If you get here first, it's your court. One of the coolest things that I just recently learned about is over there, the MAC gym. Yeah. What is the MAC gym? MAC stands for multi-activity court. It is a, a nice thick turf, 45 yards long. Um, with your yard markers and everything. 
on the field, and then on the side we have six more weight racks. So we can do all things strength and conditioning in there. We've become the provider of strength and conditioning for the club sports on campus. Uh, we provide strength and conditioning for Stillwater Varsity Sports at the high school. They come here as well. The football, Stillwater Varsity football team will be here. And so we're, we're using it as an opportunity to get out into the community, serve Stillwater and the surrounding area. With programs for the community, students, faculty, and staff, discovering wellness at the Colvin is easy. It's choosing your favorite resource that's hard. As a patron, I think my favorite thing um, is F45. I um, take advantage of that, I love that. Also, I love that I can go to vision board workshops with my coworkers and with my friends on campus and visualize what I want for the next year. Well, my favorite thing about being an employee of the Colvin is, and especially in my role in charge of fitness, is being the one that helps to get to drive what you see happening. It's fun to work out in the space and see people enjoying my creation, our creation. Um, it's very rewarding.